hi guys welcome back to my channel all things bipolar disorder my name is sa and today i have a very special guest on my channel all my guests on my channel are very special but today i have someone extra 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 special oh. <laughs> would you like to introduce yourself to us well my name is um Ajua okay so yeah. This is Ajwa, my friend, and I would like to give you a little backstory about Ajwa. I met Ajwa at a meeting. We are on an advisory board for <laughs> a whole four-year disability program. And so during the meeting, Ajwa came later on during the meeting. <laughs> the meeting had already started. And when she walked in, I was really stunned. I loved her outfit and makeup. Ajwa always looks stunning. <laughs> Oh, Every, it's true. Every time I met you, you look <laughs> stunning. You, I just was looking you. so stunning and she was contributing so much to the meeting. So immediately the meeting was over and we were in a car going home. I told her that I invite her as a guest to my channel and she's here today. So yeah. Adra, I know <laughs> we've spoken but people don't know what we've discussed. So can you tell us what you do? Okay, so basically, I'm actually a disability lawyer. Okay. And the commission on human rights. My judge of us knows to be a charge. Okay. So basically, I'm a lawyer with um, a specialty in the disability rights. And I, I also have a special need. Um, it's been um, severe policy. Okay. You wouldn't see it. Um, so maybe you get closer to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then I do have moderate stable policy. So it's kind of, um, you know, normal. <laughs> normal. It's not severe. <laughs> yeah, it's never severe. I can walk, I can do everything on my own. Okay. She even did her makeup on her own. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I try. <laughs> Okay, so Adwa, you were born with cerebral palsy. Well, um, I was not born with it. Okay, the issue with cerebral palsy is that um, the, there was a large amount of people who are not born with it. Okay, but due to negligence on behalf of the medical um, officers at the hospital who where you were born, yeah. Whereby um, I had lack of oxygen flowing through some part of my brain. Okay. So it damaged some of the uh, some of the um, the neurons. So um, it kind of like impeded my coordination. But you know, God being so good, I'm able to pull through so many things. I couldn't walk. I couldn't talk. I couldn't do so many things. Hold stuff. Hold a pencil. Do everything. So it took a while. But then today here I am. Yeah, a fancy lawyer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So um Adra, as growing up as a child, like where did you feel like you were different or you felt like you were like everybody else? Okay, fine. Um first of all, I didn't grow up here majority of my life. Okay. I grew up in Japan. Okay. And Japanese are quite different when it comes to disability, especially the intellectually disabled. So they are more, they are more, you know, advanced. Okay. So I didn't feel nothing. I didn't feel no discrimination. I didn't Stigma. feel like I was different. I didn't feel any stigmatization. But then when I came down to Ghana. <laughs> that was when I felt that hmm? something. Yeah, something wrong. I didn't know what, what was it. Even to the extent that you know, when you enter University of Ghana for the first year, you need, you need to do your medical. I went to University of Ghana Hospital to do my medical. When I got there, they didn't even know what was wrong with me. Mm. So I had to go through a whole stress of going to Colorado and trying to get myself diagnosed. Meanwhile, I already knew what I had. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I didn't know until I, I got to Ghana, the shores of Ghana. Then, I felt the difference. 
two people treat me differently. Like, you know, I see, I had a con change of living. Okay, yeah, so like, maybe you sit in a church and people will just ah, move away from you. You know, you know. And my mom, you know, of course, there will be people um, trying to insult her. And I'm saying that, what you guys call in here in Ghana as what a child or what a baby. Okay. So basically, that's it. So the stigma started when I was in Ghana. Nowhere else. Everywhere else, I was okay. So, like, <laughs> how did you deal with the stigma? Because now you are a lawyer and you went to school, you had to do things like everybody else. How did you deal with it? You see, there's one thing that people need to know. Okay. When you have a child with a disability, the first thing the child needs to learn is confidence. Okay. You see, growing up through my childhood in Japan, I was taught how to embrace my difference. Okay. Even though, you know, I was different, but then in a good way. Okay. You know, in a good way. So, the, so coming down and being stigmatized, of course. I'm human. Sometimes I felt the pain, the, the pain of rejection and all that. And yeah, so dealing with stigmatization, it came from the fact that first of all, I've gone, I've gone through the process of, of you know instilling in myself that I'm worth something. Okay. It doesn't matter how I move, how I talk, how I walk. What matters is that, hey, I'm worth something. That is why I'm here. So really, there's nothing that can say, nothing that can do that would depreciate my value as a human being. So that's how I dealt with it. And maybe church. Church to help the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> church really helps the Lord. Even though sometimes in church, church is the more, um, it's the best place I had my, 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 my beautiful memory and also the worst place I had my worst memory. You see, you know, we, we, we are all different in terms of levels of spirituality. Mm -hmm. So, some church members will actually walk to my mom and ask her, walk some with your daughter. And then, my mom would just be standing there and be laughing. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with her. The issue is that in Ghanaian need to be more can I use the word more educated on these things. On these things. The stigmatization that that's not only just um create the sense of rejection. If you're not strong will, then it leads to to depression. Okay. And then you move on and on and on and on. I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie about it. I... It got to the point that I think University of Ghana, second year, I started having, you know, suicidal thoughts. Maybe, maybe it could be, it could be due to my, my medication then. First of all, I was not on medication when I was abroad. Okay. But then when I came out to Ghana, <laughs> they say you had to be on medication. Yeah, for what? I swear my back to, um, you know, I, I'm a very stubborn person, though. <laughs> they give me five medications, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to take that. So what What are the medications supposed to do? Well, according to them, they're supposed to make me um, more relaxed. More relaxed. Okay. But then, in that question, I was even more relaxed then. <laughs> more bubbly. More bubbly. Then, but then. According to me, but then when I took the medication the first day, I was like a vegetable, like I couldn't walk. <laughs> I couldn't walk. I couldn't do nothing. I see. So I was like, why? I mean, I don't need this. I've been okay for my whole my life. So I just have to get myself of the, of the medication. But then I'm left with one. You are still on one medication. Yeah. Okay. But that one, I think it was, it was a bit too strong. So it, it had this addictive um, 
compositions. Yeah. So I'm trying my best to get up. So I take it every other day. Okay. You okay. shut up um, every day. Okay. okay. So we are on a journey of getting up. The medication. <laughs> the medication. Yeah, that's what we all want. That's what yeah. we want. So how did you, senior high school, how did you manage? Because I know senior high schools in Ghana, <laughs> the stress levels are mm -hmm. high. And even <laughs> managing your day, everyday life, it's like you're supposed to scrub, you're supposed to sweep, you're supposed to, did you, how did you deal with all those things? You, you see, I came in senior high school later. Okay. Later in a single level. I mean, from um two. Okay. So then my mom and I mean my, my dad told me why the hey okay, my daughter is a bit different. And you know in terms of diet, I don't take pepper. You don't take pepper, okay. Pepper makes me run. It makes you run. Run, okay, okay. Yes. So basically, um, my parents have to bring in food to my car. I and went in school to, in Takradi. Yeah. Agri shop or Takradi. Yeah, man. You I know. still remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, they brought in food every weekend. Wow. For my car, just for me. And then they befriended my house mistress. Okay. Mrs. Sapia. Wherever you are, I mean, shout out to really, Mrs. Sapia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, she's the black man. She really helped me out. Okay. You see, what all the didn't want to give me a chance of being whoever. You know, trying to do basic things, crabbing, sweeping. I was quite inquisitive about it. But first of all, you know, back, back I thought, we didn't need to do these things. Yes, okay. So I wanted to know what it was. Okay. So one time I took, I took a scrubbing brush and then I started doing my own. Okay. And then they were like, what you doing? And then now I'm scrubbing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have to make a conscious effort to gain some skill. It doesn't matter whether or not, you know. They will tell me that I have to stop. Hey. Don't do it. Don't do it. We are scared, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen to you. <laughs> yeah. But then, I... I have to best up for myself, for my own personal development. Because I cannot rely solely on my parents all the time. There will be a time like this that I will have to live on my own. Yeah. Take care of my own family, my own children. So basically, that's it. I mean, I took certain initiative. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So, high school was quite cool. It was cool. It was cool. The language was the problem. But, uh, so, I, you didn't know how to speak English that time? I did know how to speak English. Because I did a bit of homeschooling. Okay. I did a bit of homeschooling in the UK. Okay. Before coming down to Ghana. Okay. So I didn't know how to speak English very, very well. Before coming down to Ghana, because my mom was like, hey, don't go, don't go giving them all oh, the crazy different in Japan. <laughs> Can you say something in Japanese no. for us? <laughs> you taught me yeah. something last time, I forgot. Yeah, I thought you thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, me. I get to. I get to. No, I I to. To. I got to. I got to. I